For our neighbors to the north, Crash Responder Safety Week takes place every November in Wisconsin. It's a reminder of how we can protect the workers who are out there helping people after an accident. Fox's Stephanie Quirk rode along to see what responders face on a day-to-day -day basis. So now you can see I got my lights on. Paul Kroska says he sees it nearly every day. Theoretically, that guy right there should have merge to the right and they have plenty of space to do it. He owns Eddy Service Towing Company. People just don't realize. A regular day at work for Krauska means risking his safety to help people who've just been in a car crash. Sometimes I'm in the lane of traffic. We're trying to do our job to try to make it safe for you to pass through and we can't do that if you guys are going too fast. Krauska says it's not just the speeding. When you see the, the flashing lights that you do try to slow down and pull over to the left. Even though that's required by law, Krauska says it's not one many people follow. I think they're always in a rush to get to their destination. According to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, 326 responders were hurt and five died while on duty last year. Krauska says he's even had some close calls. I had my bed already down to pull a car out of the ditch and the lady lost control and she slid sideways up the bed of my truck when it was down. This year's Crash Responder Week is a reminder that it's our responsibility to help keep people like Krauska safe. We're just asking you to slow down, pull to the left or to the right. In Sockville, Stephanie Quirk, Fox News.